Hello everybody, it's Several Topo 4 for another episode of The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky 2nd Chapter brought to you by MuchGames.ca. In the last episode, we made it to the residential block here after uh, having some fun starting off the, the chapter. And, um, or starting off the, the or I should say not starting off the chapter, but starting off um, playing this game for the first time in a while. And now... And now, uh, we actually had Josette join our party, and we're going to be looking for her siblings who have been captured and put on the Glorious. Let's see what we can do here. Bulletin board. Heightened city security. Recent years have been a notable increase in crime in the less populated areas, such as Factoria blocks. The heightened security measures are introduced. Um, measures designed to have the least impact possible on individual freedoms. Despite these measures, crime rate continues to increase. Following apply assistance, uh, terminal use requires gospel IDs, periodic inspection will be performed, civilian access to access pillar is restricted. And security may result in inconvenience for citizens and the measures are designed to ensure safety of all residents. Yeah, so we can kind of see where this is slowly going. Uh, there's another one of those cats, I'm just going to ignore it. Let's see, is there a treasure on either side here? No. Can we go in here? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I'm a ship pilot. Sorry. Josette's like, can you not? Hey. Rest station. But anyway, yeah, we got Josette in our party. Isn't that cool? I wasn't really, really, really wasn't expecting that, like, at all. It's a good... I thought we were just going to be like, okay, see you later. But no. But no. Uh, yeah, this seems like an area that does not lead to our next destination. Cradle Municipal Office. Person with business asks to select direct service from the automated service window in the back. I mean, first we're going to do is steal these treasures. S tablets. Let's take all the typos we accidentally left in the game at launch and shove them all in here. Pretend they never happened. Gold gem. Yeah, there we go. You obtain nothing. Absolutely nothing. Good day, sir. Can I give you... No, you don't have anything unlocked here. What does a gold gem do? EP cost minus 50%, so it's an EP cut 5. Beautiful. Olivier, do you want this? You can't have it either. Does anybody want this? If I give you the gold gem... Oh my god, that's so good. If I give you the gold gem, aside from the Lakiria, does it give me anything cool here that I can tell? No. So I'm just gonna put the Heaven's Eye back on you. Also, the Heaven's Eye is good to have anyway. Okay, one second. Let's see what happens if I give it to you. So you have the EP cut four now. No. So if I give you the gold gem, that does not change anything here. I don't think it's I don't think it's worth it for you anyway. I feel like Olivier would be better best with it. So let's put that there and give you the e the gold gem here. Now do you have anything new here? Not really m m more places to go with what we got, but you do have Meteo Fall still. All that fun stuff, Lost Mobius, okay. The EP cut will just be good because we haven't been able to use him too well. Cradle 35 Municipal Office, access to civil services limited due to communication drops. The access pillar, service restricted, database access. Halo Rail. About the Halo Rail. Grand Banking Transit Method. Spatial Manipulation Technology. Force Field Rails as Needed. Grace Adventure Systems. Total Lack of Restriction on Rail Placement. That's pretty cool. 
Halo Station terminals are capable of printing rail passes and offer a host of other services. The online shop is noteworthy for providing various useful daily items. Furthermore, in the case of the Halo Rail service unoperative for some reason, you can engage in emergency operations mode and open the subsurround passages. We know about that already. Emergency operations mode is, as it implies, the last ditch operation mode for the Halo Rail service. Emergency arise in which power from the access pillar is cut. This mode switches the rail to local backup, lacking, allowing for semi-normal operation on a temporary basis. It's a station-by-station -station basis. Should multiple stations suffer power cuts, emergency operation mode must be enabled at each station or they'll not connect. That's what I figured. Gospel reprint. Due to communication errors of the access pillar, all reissued gospels will be temporary. Please enter the name of the applicant. Oh. Estelle? Ulrich, Gorg, Ellery, Celeste, and Edelhoff. Oh, I want to be George. Oh, okay, so someone told me about this. There's a glitch that you can't select anything, but to remember that I have a mouse. Astray, Weissman, Epstein, Oslis, Reinford. Let's go for Oslis. Biopattern not found in what happened? It must be matching name biological signature of the applicant with the database of citizens. Unless we somehow have both, there's little we can do here. Great. So short of pulling a citizen out of the past, we're not gonna get anywhere with this. One way or another, it all seems pretty advanced and probably a little over our heads. It might be a good idea to go back and talk to Professor Russell about this. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to come back here with a name. It's kinda sad that we didn't, you know, think of a pick pick the correct random name. But oh well. Ow. Alright, let's see what you got, Josette. You have Stampede, combination gunfire to the enemy's vitals, a defense minus 30, and Anchor Flail. You don't have any... Uh... S-Crafts. Oh, you did one damage! I'm so proud of you! Yeah, look, she doesn't have a thingy. That's weird. Oh, uh, you know what? Because she's not a breakthrough person, she wouldn't have. She wouldn't have the. Uh... But no, but she gets orbments. Okay, I guess that just means she's temporary then, which kind of stinks because, like, I like her. <laughs> oh, it's this is gonna unlock when we go up to the uh, thing up there and activate the rails and all that jazz. Okay. Because that'll lead to the next area, and this will let us go back to Professor Russell and see if we can do anything. Halo Rail is not currently operating. Yeah. Uh, let's release the gate lock. Wait, what? It looks like it won't be nearly so easy. Oh, we need an authentic gospel. Okay, so we have to turn this back on and then head back to Russell and get the thingy. Here it comes! So we should finally be able to use these things, right? I think so, let's get on and try. So I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything else. Located on the south side of the Library Arc, the Cradle District is the cozy, beloved home of the majority of the Arc citizens. It has 128 blocks, each with its own rail station, public services, building city offices, and event halls, allowing citizens to enjoy everything the Arc has to offer, all close to home. As there are vacancies in the third of the blocks due to recent population changes, that's scary. Feel free to inquire about owning another home at the nearest city office. I don't... I don't wait, no, the, uh, the online shop here has, uh, slots. Josette, do you, do you want a slot open? Why not? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's give Josette another... One in, one in here, just in case. And you know what? For good measure, we'll, we'll unlock that one, too. We can get topaz and emerald gems here. I'm gonna get one of these, actually. Uh, do we have someone with def- you do, you do have defense. Um, you also have defense for here. If I give you the topaz gem... Yeah, I'll 
I'll give you more stuff there. I'll lower your strength though, is that really a good idea? Probably not. Doesn't change. Uh... I'm just gonna remove this quartz so that I can put the topaz gem in here and give you back your... Hit three there. Does that change anything? I don't. still don't think so. I think I've just given him too much of things that aren't gonna change, but that's okay. Let's go to the West Calamare Station. Whee! That's really neat. Oh, it didn't, that didn't take very long. For as fast as it went, there's barely any vibration or unsteadiness either. To be honest, this technology is a bit mind-blowing. No kidding, still. This is nice as nice as it is to go fast, the view is amazing too. I kinda wish it went a bit slower so you can enjoy it. It'd be a tourist attraction in that case, not a train system, duh. It is kinda a waste of good view though. <laughs> of course, this also solves the travel problems we have had. It would behoove us to locate the local rail station as soon as we enter a new area, I believe. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, let's talk to, uh, the professor. Okay. Whee! So how's the ship? How y'all doing in, like, the one hour we were gone? Got the game wheel set up now. The idea is a little place like this wherever it's needed. It'll probably set up more one, yeah. That's really nice that we didn't have to go all the way back around over here. <clears throat> Everybody's helping out down there. I kind of want to talk to them. Hey, everybody. Oh, so you're the little bandit girl. The what? And what does that mean? I don't see the problem with calling a little girl a little girl. Let me make one thing clear. You should take care not to be disruptive for your own sake. Remember that you're only being allowed to stay here because this is an emergency. Yeah, I know, alright? Good then. I hope you work hard. <laughs> oh, hello miss. You're Josette, right? Yeah, actually, it's kinda nice to meet you again. <laughs> it's not where either of us expected to see each other again, I'd bet. Still, at this point, we're all in the same boat. For now, let's help each other as best as we can. You bet. Yo, helping with the exploring already, huh? Good to see you meant what you said. You keep it up, all right? And <laughs> just leave it to me. I'm so happy that there's just dialogue with, you know, them. That's... Like, if, if they didn't acknowledge that she existed, it would be weird. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to put her in the party. Oh, that's a familiar face. I never had imagined we'd meet again in a place like this. This is totally my line. Sheesh, what, it, what is it with you and that whip? Oh, I was just playing with you back then. If you like, I could be a bit rougher next time. No, oh, I just sound like you aren't actually joking. Anyway, given where we are, I'm willing to bury the hatchet and the whip. Please bury the whip. And as much as a little part of me would enjoy it, whipping each other only serves Ouroboros' interest, yes? And I'm perfectly willing to consider a hatchet six Argonder. I'll be looking forward to seeing what you can do. Yeah, you just wait. Oh, well, maybe Professor Russell will give her the ability to, you know, do the stuff. Whoa, hang on, ain't you one of the Sky Bandits? Yeah, darn right, I'm Josetta the Kapua family. Yeah, I thought so. Hey, if you got a minute, I'd love to ask you a few things. Sorry, I'm about as interested in helping the Rebrol News as I am about sticking my head in a toilet. I'm amazed you can even ask that with a straight face after the things you've written about us. Hey, it's all water on the bridge, right? Come on, I can give you a chance to tell your side of the story, what do you say? I say, bleh! <laughs> Wow, what cute goggles! Um, excuse me, could we pose for a second? What? Pose? Oh, come on, hurry, or I'll take the photo anyway. Uh, like this, all rough and tough? Oh, nice! Okay, one more, give me something cute this time. Um, how about this? Oh, very nice. Okay, all done, thanks for helping. <laughs> uh, what the heck did I just experience? Uh, call it a photographer's way of saying hello. She's, uh, kinda gotten better at shoving people into it as time's gone on, though. I love it. I got some great photos out of that. Thanks for helping. Come on, give us a shot. Won't do bad. Report is on her. 
Oh, I love them. I love them. I'm so happy that this game put in, like, the interactions like that, you know? Uh, let's go see... No, not you. I've been trying to avoid the... Nope. Still need to find... Nope, still need to find Tita and Kevin. Oh, Tita's in the workshop. Kevin's here. Josette, right? I'm Kevin Graham, priest of the Septian Church. I've always gotten time for cute girls, so nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you too. But are you really a priest? <clears throat> you bet I am, 100% pure holy man right here. Hey, what's with the blatant look of disbelief? Uh. <laughs> I think that's... Yeah, okay. Saw everyone else outside. Oh, um, you're the bandit lady. I'm, um, I'm Tita. Nice to meet you. The bandit lady? Uh, you know I have a name, right? It's Josette. I'm sorry, Ben. Uh, I mean, Josette. <laughs> Is she doing that on purpose now? Uh, hello, everyone. Now, Koji, did you find anything interesting? I'm not sure about interesting. We found something pretty weird, though. Oh, what did you find? Well, still explained by finding a gospel issuing terminal. I was asking for a citizen's name. I see, I see. So you need a citizen's name on record to be issued a gospel. What if Weissman is the one there? Yeah, that's about the size of it. Long shot, but you wouldn't happen to know the names of a bunch of folks from an ancient civilization, would you? Of course not. Contrary to popular belief, I'm not that old. However, those data crystals have records on them, among other things. If you check the data Capital has decrypted, you may be able to fish out a name. That's true. The data on those crystals were presumably written by a citizen in this place. The data crystals, huh? Not like we have any other clues. Let's go take a look. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that actually. Where the heck is Capel? This is your Capel, right? Uh, data crystals. Okay. Seal mechanism. My name is Celeste Dioslis. Well, that that solves that. <laughs> um. Okay, so I'm just gonna write this. I think we have to have like different things for all of us. So I'm just gonna... So Celestia Oslis. Uh, purpose of the seals for fine contact. Okay, that doesn't have anything. No. So we just need one, maybe? I love that this is behind the, the thing here. Uh, these are all yeah still under analysis. I don't know. Maybe we just need Celeste. Day crystals are well. They visited the bandit last. It's been some time ever since we met beneath Lesson Fortress, I believe. Bandit last enough of the weird nicknames, you old coot. Like granddaughter, like grandfather, I guess. <laughs> oh, let me indulge a little more to the point. I understand your vessels crashed here as well. I'm not completely familiar with Reinford's orbital engines, but I believe I can offer you some advice on repairs if you like. Don't be shy about asking if you or your brothers hit any trouble. Uh, thanks. We'll do that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the Celeste Oslis is is what we is what we need, because I don't think that there are any other. Uh, any other uh, names in here? Hopefully, hopefully we just need one to get where we need to go. Like it's not like gonna scan every person? Question mark. I guess we'll find out. Chloe, Josette, welcome aboard the RSA. I fear we can't welcome you as well as we should, as we're busy with repair work. Please treat our ship as though it were your own. Uh, sure, thanks, your highness. Uh, it makes me feel kind of itchy getting welcome like this. Oh, gross. Do you like not shower or something, you flea-bitten tomboy? And in front of a princess? You idiot, that's not what I meant! <laughs> I'm sorry, I know, I just kind of... I mean, when you say bandits, you just think dirty guys with beards and stuff, you know? Uh, well, it was... If it was just Don and Kyle and the rest of that lot, maybe. I make sure everything stays clean in the Bobcat, though, includes smacking the boys into doing their laundry. 
To be honest, the Bobcat's no worse than this ship. It's true, the Bobcat was surprisingly clean for an outlaw vessel. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so Joshua, why are you taking Josette's side? Uh, I wasn't taking sides, I was just stating fit. <clears throat> anyway, let's do our best to be friends. Helping one another must come first in this situation. Ah, so you're Josette Kapua then. Frankly, normally I would not deign to cooperate with a base criminal. Given the circumstances, however, I have no choice. You are granted special dispensation to be aboard the ship. I do, of course, expect you to work to earn your place aboard this vessel. Join the rest of the crew and help with whatever you can. I yeah, understood. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that the professor would give us the ability to use an S-craft, but alas. But alas. Josette's not that cool. She's just temporary, I guess. Okay, so we got a name. Let's see if that name will help us out. Or I have to go back and get more names. I don't think so. We're still halfway through decrypting those crystals, but only the first one, which I think was a necessary one, was the one that we needed. Kinda glad we didn't have to make up a whole bunch of new identities. But of course, of course, then Oslis was, uh, was in charge of all this. That's why they're the royal family now, I guess. Excuse me. Okay. Crest of Mouse will reprint. Uh, yeah, I don't know if Josette's gonna do it. Uh, Celeste. Right, right, right. D. Uh, I'll slice. Match found. Bio pattern error. Bio. I. Oh, come on. Yeah. Alright. I'm very, very sorry. I'm very, very sorry, Olivier, but we're turning this into the all-female Joshua Harem. I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. Match found, biopattern 73% match to records, applicant temporarily recognizes as Celestial Sleeves. Reprinting gospel. Oh! Whoa! Looks like spatial translocation. Received original gospel. It's a real gospel, just like they used in the ancient past. Yeah, society replicas are amazingly accurate. So we were right, the Celestial Sleeves mentioned the towers was your ancestor, Chloe. They must be. They must have been the one who took charge in leading people from the city. I'm a little surprised I compared to things were so biologically similar, though. As far as I'm concerned, it's another one for divine providence. Anyway, I bet we can open the underground gate if we use this at station terminal. Let's get going! Yes, absolutely. Okay. Is that- do I have to equip it? I don't think so. I think it's just a, uh... Yeah. Alright. Well, that's a little disappointing, I think. That, you know, I couldn't have the party that I wanted. Way, way, way. But, um... It is what it is, you know. Uh, Cradle Rail Station, Gate Lock Release. Warning, Art of Access Unlocking the Gate Require ID. We should be able to unlock if you show them. Uh, do I just need to... So that wasn't Chloe using it, that was Estelle, uh, Estelle, so technically I think we could put Chloe back at the party, but we already... Donald's now usable, hooray. We've already gone this far, may as well just keep her in. I liked Olivier and I really wanted to keep using his fun stuff, but having a dedicated healer, because Josette is definitely not, is also a good idea. Also, I was talking about like how everybody's levels are low, but Graham is still... Or Kevin, yeah, is still, um, level 69. Maybe it's just an appropriate level for him. Okay. 
Yeah, you're just not going to be particularly useful in that regard. I need to get a little bit more wind uh, stuff so that I can... Now what else is that? Oh, instant death. I need to get a little bit more wind stuff so that I can um, unlock another one of uh, Chloe's slots there. Don't like these guys. Uh, you know what? You can use true dual strike on that guy. There we go. And the rest of you can use water on him. You don't have water. You have geocatastrophe though, which just it just sounds fun. I don't think we're gonna be able to use it, but it sounds fun. Oh, that's not doing too much. One. Yeah, her arts are terrible. I really should just make her an attacking machine, honestly. But I really don't want to rearrange everything. I'm lazy. Even though I just rearranged everything. Uh, fine. You know what, Josette? Instead of the topaz gem here... No, you need the topaz gem there because that's just who you are. Uh, poison enemy is fine. I don't think you need EP cut 4. You already have attack four on you, though. Uh, what can I give you that can help with? As yeah, raise your dexterity. Anything here? Hmm. Yep. You know, we can replace the topaz gem with just a, de a defense four or five because yeah, you just don't use anything to up your attack basically. Uh, impede is fine. Action is also good for you. Movement, and anything better than that? Not really, right? HP, mind we don't need. Uh, evade, shield. Yeah, no, I think you're good otherwise, really. If, if anything, I should just give you a, ta a defense one, which is the least amount of, of strength reduction. <laughs> just make you, uh, Make you much better in that regard. Uh, yeah, none of you have anything I care for to get rid of here. Yeah, death, death just worked, so I'm not getting rid of that. And this EP4, I would love to replace with the silver gem. Now that Olivier isn't using it, which way do we go? Ooh, new enemies. Turn around. Okay, so what do we got here? We have Brute Angler, 1488, no weakness, Ancient Aerial Monster, extremely agile, has high attack, and the Ebony Scale, 8844, weak to Earth, and resistant to pretty much everything else. Enormous Aerial Monster, fires blinding lightning strikes, can call its allies. Should I get rid of this guy first? Uh, so weak to Earth, so you don't really have anything Earth related, so I'm gonna have you... I love that she can just walk anywhere on the map here. Okay, you're a little better in that regard, and you... You have Titanic Roar, so no, we're not going to do that, actually. We're just going to use a plain old Earthlands. That's pretty good, actually. Uh... Yeah, but You don't really have any Earth attacks here, so let's just go for... Shadow Spear, why not? See if we can get that instant KO. Yeah, it resisted it. Ow. That was annoying. Luckily, I don't really need to move when I'm using arts. Shadow Spear still does a, a decent amount of damage regardless. Ow. You can just use true dual strike. There we go. 
done yet. Josette levels up. Monster Carapace. You know what? Uh, you know what I'm gonna do for you? I don't remember equipping that. Uh, I'm gonna give you the Topaz Talisman if enemies here can be weak to Earth. Of course, this one isn't. Okay. Feeling like I should have gone the other direction, so let's let's just quickly turn around. Okay, nothing over there. What? What's going on? Why is everybody on the floor below me? Oh no. <laughs> Look at that! I lost them. I lost my party. Oh, this is this is not good. That's amazing. That was, that was amazing. Okay, treasure chest. No, that's mean. Joshua leveled up there. No, this is also a big room. What the heck? Where does all of this go? This can't just lead to a treasure chest. I'm getting way, way, way off base here. Where am I? Ah! Good God, okay, I'm turning around. We're, t we're, t we're turning this boat around right now. First of all, we got an emerald gem here, which... What does that do again? A wind gem. Oh, wind gem is different than an emerald gem. It's the same value, but instead of uh, shield 5, it's evade 5. Oh. Ooh, that's lovely to know. Is that a... Can I change this? I don't know what this is gonna do for you, but... Okay, no, we're turning this car around again. I'm going back the other way. This is way, way, way too far out of the way to be anything but the correct place to go. Which I thought was the other direction. So where the heck is this then? Okay, this has... Bunch of Sepith, thank you. This has Celestial Bomb and a monster. No, we'll end off the episode on the monster. I'm from the future, I came back in time to worry. <laughs> oh, that's not a monster. Sorry, you misunderstand something? Only one item per person. That's a, a weapon for uh, uh, Zin. Okay. So let's just go back here. I was gonna be like, yeah, we'll fight that monster and then end off the episode, and then there was nothing in there. Okay, so where the heck is this going? Okay, monsters, monsters, good. Oh, it's just you guys again. Oh, I don't have this charged up, that's not great. Um, okay, we're gonna scream. You know what? We're gonna flail around with an anchor also. That's cute. I also like it just said faint and not like faint 20% or whatever, like that's just what it does. Uh, you can also use something that hits everybody. We're just gonna attack everyone all at once. And it's not gonna do anything to the big guy. Do you have anything that can actually attack everyone? I don't think so. You do have Wheel of Time, which is a single attack, and we're gonna use it against that guy. Okay, not not too great, but that's fine. You're You know what, you got your crafts going. Good. Okay, that's gonna make the rest of these not do too much. Ow! 
Oh, no, it still killed him. Yay! And a level up for the rivals. And we get Hermes gear! Hey, I know you had high hopes for this chest, but it's empty! You gotta have high, high hopes for the chest. Can the Hermes gear please be? Yay! Yay, movement plus! Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's just put the... So let's see, the... Speed won't be as good, and the agility will really not be as good, but I think it, it's better to have movement and defense up for him right now. Because he's, he's very immobile. Uh, was that it? All of that? Going all the way there? One sec, I'm just gonna make sure. Right, because that's that, and that's just the end of the door. Okay, that was all to get the Hermes gear. Well, I stopped like one room away from, from where I was supposed to, as I usually do. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. So next time on Legend Heroes Trails in the Sky, we are going to be continuing into the uh, the depths over here and uh, reaching our next our next location. There's nothing, nothing over here. Good. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.